Okay, um, this is part two of the lab. This is the second spring called Spring B. It's a much lighter spring. So again, I'm going to take you through a series of 10 pictures, actually 11 pictures. The first picture is the pan that's empty. And again, you're going to just get the data. So I'll zoom in here and you can get this is the this is the equilibrium position, the starting position off the bottom of the pan. Looks to me to be about 66 point, maybe 66.2 or 3. Um, just remember, you got to use that for all of your delta x's, all your displacements on subsequent trials. So you, you can pause this video anytime and take the measurements. So I'm going to click through the pictures a little faster this time. I'll click, zoom, go to the next one. Okay, so here we go. Now remember, each of these, the silver ones are going to be five, and then I'll put on brass ones that are that are ten. So that's nothing. Here's the pan, and here's the five five grams. Now one brass, this is 10 grams. One of each, 15 grams. Twenty grams. Twenty-five. Thirty. If I see a pattern now. Thirty-five. Forty. Forty-five. And finally, fifty. This one is tough to get the angle on because I can get the camera long enough. It's probably a little bit lower now, but anyway, so that's your fifty-gram trial. That's your final trial, and that's back to the end. So again, we just put a different pan on there or a different mass on each pan. All right, so go ahead and do that for part B. That's for spring B. You can put bulk graphs on the same axes, I think. I'll confirm that. I'm just going to make sure the data fits nicely. If it doesn't, we'll do two separate graphs. But I'm, I'm hoping to get both graphs, spring A and spring B, onto the same set of axes using different data sets. Okay, thank you very much. And we'll stop there, and then uh, we'll get the data.